The health segment on TV3 New Day. Now, we're told that there are big, bigger beddings, but there are even better solutions. And that's why for 10 years, he has been champion in this cause. And over the last 10 years, some 40,000 Ghanaians have been screened for free and many more have been educated. He holds the key to the city of Cincinnati. He holds a master's degree uh, in marketing from the University of Ghana Business School and has done music for 19 solid years. Call him a Colossus, your favorite rapper's favorite rapper, the family man, or Mr. Versatile. And he's here. We're talking hepatitis B, viral hepatitis B. But first, let's take a look at some of the details. Now, hepatitis B affects some 325 million people across the world and kills 1.4 million people every year. From 2004 to 2008, a total of 17,905 was recorded and 421 died, unfortunately. They could have been saved. The second major infection killer is after TB, that's hepatitis B, the viral hepatitis B, which we'll be speaking about shortly. And finally, nine times more people are infected with hepatitis uh, than HIV. Shocking. You didn't know that. Well, now you do. Let's have a conversation uh, at this point with Ochiame Kwame and Dr. Imano Dochi. He is the man in charge of all the viral programs related to hepatitis B under the Ghana Health Service on the Ministry of Health. Gentlemen, welcome. Thank you very Thank much you, for your time. Brother. How are you doing? Right. Congratulations. Thank you me. haven't stopped. Ten years. What's keeping you going? The passion to stop it. You know, <laughs> something, if anything should stop, it should be the, vi the virus, not right, me. Right. You know, because um, the idea is that together mm. as a nation, um, by 2030, mm -hmm. we must reduce hepatitis to a past tense. I remember when hepatitis used to kill people. Yeah. You know, so mm. that is the passion is to be able to work with Ghana Health Services, um, WHO, hospitals, nurses, for us, to, radio stations, television, mm. media, mm. for us to push the agenda and make hepatitis so popular that people know about it. Okay. Then they do something about it. Doc, the, the global outlook is shocking. But in our particular situation, are we winning the fight? Uh, unfortunately, uh, not too good. Uh, because you know, uh, WHO has put the country mm. uh, within the prevalence of uh, eight percent, meaning out of every hundred people that you take in, mm. in Ghana, eight of them may be having the viral hepatitis okay. uh, B, as well as the C. The C is a bit lower, that mm. is between five to ten percent. Okay, yeah, so and uh, what is also worrying is that we will not be able to detect all mm. uh, because if we took a, take our population and this prevalence that was estimated, we have not been able to detect all of them. It will only the few that uh, come to a high facility, that's what we have been detected, mm. as we have seen 17,905. Uh, I must clarify that this 17,905 cases that we, is inclusive of all the other various types, okay. the A, B, C, D, right. and E, right? Uh huh. Out of which the 421, those are those that fell sick mm. and then reported to health facilities. How much more those who did not present? You know, hepatitis is a very, very funny disease. Mm. Some may tell not, me about it. What is it? What is some this may not, that? yeah, some may not uh, have any symptoms at all. The first time you may see the person, it just comes with signs of already liver failure. Mm. Because the virus has attacked the liver mm. and has damaged it. So that's the only when you have seen the person. But ideally, we should detect them early mm. enough so that we can monitor them and those who need treatment are put on treatment so that they don't develop uh, liver okay. uh, cancers, right. which will lead to death. Mm. Uh -huh. me, Kwame, why is this important to you? Um, this is a You're a music man, you're yes. a family man, versatile. And why are you getting into health concerns? Because um, from, every, from a very selfish uh, perspective, mm. I play my music to Ghanaians, okay. to people. Mm. And if they are not healthy, um, they will not be able to enjoy my music. Mm. So that's, I mean, we, without a healthy nation, I have no business. Right. But on the more selfless uh, way, I believe that as a person that God has given power and potential to mm. Mm. and popularity to, I will be damned 
if I just play music and let uh, to entertain people mm. and all the people, millions of people that follow me on Instagram, all my millions of fans, mm. I just play music to them. I think that I need to take on an actual problem okay. and help the nation solve it. Mm. So it is important to me that um, my popularity will be linked to solving an actual problem. Mm. Like you said last mm. year, mm. where you roll up your sleeves and then go down there and scratch the people where it's where itching the itch, most. Yeah. You know, because I have seen people, because I've been doing it for 10 years, I've seen people who have been sick um, with hepatitis mm. that need treatment and they can't afford. It is so expensive. Right. Within the, um, the average between 3,000 to 5,000 cities mm. a month, mm. even I can't afford that. So another reason why it is important to me is that hepatitis B especially is preventable. Mm. So once it is preventable, what is stopping us from making noise about it okay. so that people will know their status, mm. get vaccinated or see a doctor? You know, because once people know their status mm -hmm. and they get they are, they are negative and they get vaccination, then we know that f because of the world hepatitis, there because of what the activities we did, mm. these people are safe from the right. from the problem. You right. know, so uh, once the disease is preventable, it is important for us to be proactive mm. before we actually get it. Doc, let's talk about symptoms. How do you know you have hepatitis B, the virus? Yes, uh, uh, the as I already said between 30 to 50 percent may not show any symptoms mm. uh -huh. uh, so those who may show the symptoms they may come with a first like a flu-like symptoms mm. like malaria mm. you may feel very tired you may feel unwell mm. and then there may be some fever uh -huh. and then most cardinal about it is that they may come with joint this okay. that's yellowish coloration of the eyes mm. uh -huh. And then they may have pains, especially the right part of the abdomen, mm -hmm. where you have the pain. Uh -huh. So, as they present with that, uh, when it worsens, the, some may start vomiting, some may have diarrhea. Okay. Uh -huh. And those are the symptoms that come suddenly, that okay. acute form. Right. Uh -huh. And uh, those symptoms that present in acute form, the person's uh, immunity can overcome it. And then those symptoms may go. Then, if the body is not able to overcome the virus, then it may lead to, especially the B and then the C, mm. may lead to what we call the chronic viral hepatitis right. that will affect the liver. How do they acquire it? How do people acquire hepatitis B? I, yes, for uh, let's look at the groups of the viral hepatitis. Mm. You know, the program looks at this viral hepatitis. A, B, C, and D. Mm. So we group them. The A and E mm -hmm. is normally transmitted just like cholera okay. uh, through contaminated water or mm. food. Mm. So if you are living in a very bad uh, sanitation area, you don't have access to good water, okay. and then you eat f uh, non hygienic food uh -huh, which has the virus A and E in it, mm. then when you take it in, the water or the food, then you can get the okay. A or E. Right. Then when it comes to the, the B, C, and then the D, they normally are found in the blood. Mm. And then uh, most of our, the fluids of, something like the vaginal fluid, uh, the, the sperm from men, they are found in it. So that means is that if, for example, you use uh, a needle, as the, that has been used by an infected person, and you also use the same one on you, mm can get the infection because the blasting on the needle when you use it on yourself you can get infected and then also uh, commonly uh, you know people go about tattooing it's not the fact that tattooing is bad but the issue is that the syringes mm. or instrument that if they are not sterilized and then you use it mm. on an infected person to yourself then you could, can, could this yeah. be gotten from barbering shops yeah in the barbering shop the you know, they use some shafts, blades, the, the machine they use. Mm. The, if the machine is not sterilized, and they use it to shave somebody having the disease, and it also uses. So that's why in Bambri shops, once we enter there, make sure that they, having, they have the instrument sterilized okay. uh -huh, before they use on you. Right. Then, so the other most important aspect that I need to emphasize is that from please. mother child. to the child. Mm. Uh, so if an infected mother has it during delivery, it can give to the baby. Okay. Uh -huh. And also through unprotected sex, mm. uh, especially those having multiple partners. Mm. 
and then also men having sex with men mm. uh -huh. that can also transmit the men invasion. breaking a true man yes. of men yeah. anyway but you have a kwami why is this investment important because we have a 20 30 target to make yeah. but why is it important why must we take it serious in ghana because um because when we don't invest in hepatitis um, we we all perish mm. you know so the government mm -hmm. must make a conscious effort mm. to sit down with the pharmaceutical companies and invest in 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 medication mm. the people regular people like you and i must invest in actually investigating whether we have it or not mm. ghana health services must invest in um, doctors mm. to give them the necessary knowledge okay. and training mm. so that they'll be able to answer the questions mm -hmm. um the media people must also invest in in advertising the disease mm. so that people get to know of it okay. i mean all of this will cost us some money mm. you know however but in the final outcome a safer world is a much better place to live right because if we do not do something about it and the these viruses uh, get us we are going to not have health mm. we are going to be weak we are going to be sick mm. and die and just as you know once that is happening the our icon it will affect the economy, economy it will affect everything doc quickly let's talk about uh, prevention and what persons who have already been affected must do and then we'll talk about Ochame Kwame's gig coming up later yeah. in july the key in prevention we say is that uh, you have to protect yourself by having safe sex safe sex if you are married you keep to your husband or your wife then when you have an external affair make sure that you use a condom mm. and then our mothers any pregnant woman when you get to the hospital get tested for the b if uh, you are positive for b there's some management that will be given to you so that it does not go to mm. your your child mm. and then also we insist that try not to share shops okay it's especially you go to a house people using common toothbrushes mm. because if a person is having a toothbrush you also use it and then our barber shops we have to make sure that every instrument we use there pedicure manicure mm. whatever they are all sterilized before they are used on you okay for the children fortunately uh, ghana have vaccines for the children under one so we encourage all mothers to take their children under one for weaning sessions so that they can be given the uh, hepatitis b vaccine right which is within the vaccine they are giving so okay. that their children will be protected Ojami, you are so generous uh, you're doing this on your own account and you are hosting a free concert and testing people when are we having a party okay that one is that one is on friday okay the ghana health services is doing something okay also that is tomorrow tomorrow yeah, okay tomorrow, tomorrow all of us are coming together so doc tell her but before i tell them about right my quickly own. doc wait, wait, yes uh, we are celebrating the world hepatitis day tomorrow in kolibu okay uh, we have the examination hall opposite the maternity block in mm. kolibu mm. so we have our guest speaker to the honorable uh, minister of health okay so and then we're having a side attraction free screening mm. uh, for all persons that come there okay so we're inviting everybody to be part and then most importantly we'll be launching you know it mentioned that our doctors nurses need to be trained right we Minister of health have developed now a guideline we've got a national guideline for prevention care and treatment of hepatitis. okay so we'll be launching that the minister of health will be launching that document and that will be available for all health workers, right. including non health workers, to be able to manage the virus that is very well. Great. Ochami Kwame. Yeah. But tell us about a party. Yeah, so on, on Friday, mm. um, we are also, up, well, I'll be part of this one. I'll actually be doing a song. Okay. There. Okay. And then on Friday, um, at the Tema station, mm. that in front of the Metropolitan Assembly, right. Community One, mm. we are doing a free screening, okay. free um, vaccination, mm. and free post and uh, pre test counseling. Okay. And we are doing this with Ghana Health Services and MDS Lancet. Okay. The time is 9 o'clock. 9 a.m. sharp between 9 to 4. That's in that's front, when, okay. yes, at Tema mm. Metropolitan Assembly, and it's free, and it's free, everything is free. Wow. And another thing that you should know is that um, hepatitis test costs at least 50 Ghana. Okay, the vaccine you take it three times, each one of them is 50 Ghana. Mm. So if you come, you get the test for free, and you get all three 
uh, vaccinations for, for free. free you know so please take advantage of mm. it so tomorrow we invite all the media to come to Kwelebu, Kwelebu. and uh, let's celebrate the world hepatitis day right. in a grand style mm. in the day after and all the people in Tema should also meet us at the Tema Metropolitan Assembly. With music and yes. fun and, and everything fun. else. So, Chame yes. Kwame, congratulations. Keep Thank up you, the good work. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very Thank much you. indeed. And so you heard about it. All the fine details here on TV3 New Day. Thank you to Ochame Kwame, the rap doctor, who is the boss at the OK Foundation, been championing this for 10 solid years. And Dr. Emmanuel Dochi, he is the boss to speak with at the National Viral Hepatitis B Program of the Ghana Health Service under the Ministry of Health. Gentlemen, thank you very much indeed. Let's